But for this next piece, it kind of, let me see if I can show you, kind of has, you know, a couple different layers, background, middle ground, and foreground, and then some little trees, three of them. So I know the trees are going to be dark, the foreground also is going to be pretty dark, it's going to get lighter as it goes back, so I'm into this piece, but I want to try a different color palette than this. So I'm thinking, do I want to make it green, or... A different color. I think I haven't used this one, so I think I'm gonna use this green uh, for the middle ground, this for the background, and maybe do this light pale yellow for the sky. So it's gonna be a very green piece, and for the foreground, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and do this color again, which is the same one as this. So that'll be our foreground, middle ground, background, and sky. And then for the trees, which are going to be really dark, I think... Hmm... I could do some, like, purple trees. I might do them blue, actually. No, I think we're going to do blue trees. So, yeah, let's go ahead and sketch this one out. I think one of the reasons why I like sketching with these Tombow markers um, is, um, I guess this brush tip, honestly, is just really fun to use. And it does kind of leave some marks, and if you go over it more than once, um, those kind of lines will fade away. Um, but I actually don't mind the marks. I think it helps make it stay looking like a sketch rather than trying to make it look like a finished um, completed drawing and it also helps add some texture when I go back and do um, some of these pen lines and another thing I do when I do the pen lines I try and follow kind of the direction and flow of the uh, marker lines here so when I'm coloring again I try to kind of follow the overall shape that way it doesn't um, kind of conflict with the line work so, and one thing, I, I almost never use uh, the little pen tip. So they, these are dual markers, right? You got the brush tip here, and then you have this little marker uh, kind of writing tip. There you go. And I almost never use this, so we're actually going to use it. It's a great opportunity to use it for the trees, because um, there's no leaves in these trees. It's, it's just, you know, a bare uh, tree trunk and limbs. So this will be a really great opportunity to try out this. And these are only going to be in the foreground, actually, so all attached to this darker shape here. So I think this kind of adds an interesting line element to the overall like blocky shapes. 
just gonna make the base of it a little bit thicker okay and the next one And let me know your guys' favorite um, marker, marker of choice. I used to use, back in college, um, uh, what's it called? Prismacolor, their marker set, their little brush pen markers actually have, let me get them real quick. I still have these. And they also have a brush tip and a fine tip. Theirs is actually a little bit more pointy but I found that when using these, I used to use them when I did like some ink drawings and they, like the ink bled um, over time. Uh, over the years, like for example, I use an orange very similar to this color. Um, and wherever I use this color, it kind of bled out into like a yellow surrounding any shape that was an orange. And it kind of, you know, it, 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 it obviously didn't last very long so I don't like that about these. And I haven't been using Tombows for too long, um, so I can't really say if they do or don't bleed like the Prismacolor did, but let me know if you've been using Tombows for a while, if you've also encountered that kind of bleeding out ink issue. Um, yeah, because I'm curious to know, because I really like Tombows, and hopefully they can last much longer than Prismacolor did. And also I like how thin the barrel is. These are really chunky really chunky markers. So now we're done with the marker part and I can go ahead and use my zebra pen. This is their gel pen. It's called G301, uh, 0.7 millimeter. And they recently gifted me this along with some other ones to try out. And yeah, it's a really good pen that I like to use um, for outlining my marker sketches. This video is not sponsored by Zebra Pens, by the way. I just really like, really like their pens. I've been using them for many years now. <laughs> This one's done, and I really liked this very green-toned landscape. I think it worked pretty well, actually. Definitely going to use this color palette in the future. On to the next one. I think we're just going to speed up and finish um, all of these that I have planned out as well. A couple of these are just some studies based off some pictures I found on Pinterest. Um, and a lot of these are just kind of random simple landscapes. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do a little marker sketch time lapse.
so here's the finished sketchbook spread. I'm really happy with how all the colors came out and the landscapes themselves. So I feel like I kind of like unlocked a new color palette that I really like. Um, this one in particular, which is also this one as well, but I really like the balance of a little bit of this pink with this kind of orangey yellow, light yellow, and pale blue. Definitely messed up on the perspective on the house, but whatever, it's still a sketchbook. I just really love this kind of yellow orange. Looks more orange on paper, but the cap is pretty yellow. Um, it's the 025 uh, Tombow marker. There is a couple issues on this sketchbook uh, spread, in particular, you know, the perspective on the house. I wasn't really paying attention when I was doing the sketch, and then when I colored it, I pretty much just copied the sketch exactly, so obviously it was wrong. Um, and just kind of colored outside the lines a little bit, but it's fine. I think it's overall a really nice sketchbook spread. Um, all the colors look nice together, the little landscapes are really cute. Definitely going to use that color palette again um, on some future stuff. But yeah, I really recommend getting some Tombow markers, messing around in your sketchbook, whether that be landscapes or any sort of little cutesy sticker design type stuff. I'm actually almost done with the sketchbook. I probably have like 10 pages left or so, um, and I really like this watercolor paper. And I also like the square format of the pages um, because I can work in it square or I can do, you know, a full a full page and have it be more of like a long rectangle, which is nice. And it has this handy little thing because if you do use water in it, the pages kind of buckle a little bit um, and this helps keep it intact. So definitely going to try and get a new one of these. Yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck it through to the end of the video, consider subscribing. It really helps a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.